In this video, let's take a look at Photoshop's indexed color mode and see how we can use it to give our images a new style and color looks that we can apply to other images. So what we want to do with this image is use index color to reduce the amount of colors we see to create some different kind of effects. So here is the original photo and I've just applied a photo effect which you can download for yourself. I'll leave a link to that in the description. You don't need to apply a photo effect for index color but I thought this effect looks pretty good when applying index color. So you want to go to the image menu, go to mode and select indexed color and it will warn you that it will merge all the layers together. Uh, but after we've applied index color, I'll show you a way to bring these layers back. So you click OK. So from here, you want to change this palette option to any one of these. You can experiment with them all, but I like to use local perceptual. So when you select that, you want to adjust this number here. So if I enter 256, that will pretty much look identical to uh, how it was before we came into index color here. So if I turn preview on and off, you can see there isn't much change there. But if I bring this all the way to zero, that will remove all the color. But as I increase the colors here, you'll notice that color information starts to come back into our image, but it creates a different look with each um, increment. So you can see that looks really cool, that style there, I like the colors. As so I keep increasing it, it starts to bring back more colors. Uh, so let's go with four. So when you're happy with the look, uh, let's click OK. And you'll notice when you look at your layer, it is called index, it's got a lock symbol on it. There isn't too much we can do in index color mode. For example, I cannot even duplicate this layer. So I've hit Control or Command J, cannot duplicate. If I go to the filter menu, everything's grayed out. So if you want to bring your document back into RGB color mode, you need to go back into the image menu, go to mode and select RGB color mode. So from here, you can do a lot more. Uh, but what I want to do, I'll just undo that to go back into index color mode. What I want to do is uh, go back into the Photoshop document uh, that had the layers and folders prior to going into index color. So a little hack that I like to do to copy this image and bring it back into that Photoshop document is I will select all. So select all or control A. Then I'll copy control or command C. And then I will undo a few times. So control or command Z. I'll undo, undo until we go back into that Photoshop document that had the layers and folders. And then I want to paste, so Control or Command V. And so we're now going to paste what we created in index color mode into the layer stack here. And just to compare how index color looks on the original photo, I'll just hide uh, those layers there. I'll go back into uh, index color. So you'll notice that the edges with the original photo are quite grainy. Now that in itself creates a unique look. Uh, I just find that uh, index color looks nice on images that have a vector style look to it as you get those real uh, clean edges. What I also like about index color is the way it blocks out color really nicely and it makes it easy to replace these colors. So let's just say that I want to replace a few of these colors. So what I might do is go to the select menu and go to color range and I can just use the color picker here to select a color. So let's say I want to replace this pink tone. So I'll select that, I'll click OK, and it will create a selection. Then I can create a solid color here and just pick a new color. So let's go for a brighter pink, click OK. And if you hold down Alt or Option and click on the mask, you can see that it, is, it has applied that selection that we made to the mask. And this is really nice. So at any time, you can just double click on this box here and apply a new color. So let's go to the same process. We'll replace maybe that green. So I'll go to select color range, color pick the green, and then wait for that to load. There's a selection, create a solid color, and yeah, pick a new color. So you might be thinking, why don't you just use the posterize adjustment layer to reduce the amount of colors in the image? So uh, what I might do is just group these layers here. So these are our index color layers. So here's the before and after. And I'm just going to take this original here and let's just duplicate it. And what I'm going to do next is create a posterize adjustment layer. And with the posterize adjustment layer, you can do something similar to index color. You can just reduce the amount of numbers here to uh, reduce the amount of color and I guess segments throughout the photo. 
So you can see here, uh, I might change the blend mode to luminosity so we're only affecting the brightness values. And as I increase this number here, you can see it is creating different looks. But let's just set it to four, something similar to what we had uh, with index color. And I'll group these two, and let's just call this one uh, posterize, this one index. So here's posterize and here's index. So you can see it creates uh, a totally different look. Uh, I think index color looks much better than posterize, but both have their place. Uh, so yeah, definite winner in this scenario. Let's now take a look how we can apply colors that we create in index color mode to other images. So I'm gonna to jump to the next tab here and I've applied the same photo effect as I did on this photo to this one. And there was a link to that photo effect in the description. So let's go to the image mode and go back into index color. And let's just adjust the numbers here to get a set of colors that we like. So maybe that looks good. So what we want to do now, we want to export the colors that we see here as a color table so that we can apply those colors to another photo. So to do that from the palette drop-down menu, uh, you want to select custom. And you'll notice that when you do that, uh, it's grabbed the colors from our image here and put it into this color table. From here, you can save out this color table, save. And I'm just gonna call this one gold. So now I can just cancel out of all this. I'm going to jump back into this tab. I'm just going to hide these two folders. So with this image here, we're going to apply that gold color. So we're going to go into image mode back into index color. It's going to merge the layers again. And from the palette drop down menu, select custom. And this time select load and load the file we just saved. Click OK. And it has now applied those gold tones which looks pretty neat. So I'm gonna click OK to that. Again, if I wanna bring this image back into the original Photoshop document that had all the folders and layers, I can select all by hitting Control or Command A, copy, Control C, and then I will undo to go back into the previous state of the document, so Control Z a few times. So here's all the layers and folders, and then let's just turn these two back on. And then I'm gonna hit Control V to paste it, and now we have the other image in the layer stack. Let's now take a look at how we can use index color on this text here to break up this gradient into some nice solid colors. So let's go into indexed color mode. It's gonna rasterize the layer. And from the palette drop down, let's go back into local perceptual. And you can see as I adjust these numbers here, it creates some really nice uh, divisions of color. So you can just adjust that, get to a level that you like. Let's just go with six. And I wanna bring back that original transparency we had before applying index color. So I'm gonna copy this image. So select all, control A, copy, control C. Now I'm going to undo to get back into the previous state of the document. So control Z a few times. So there's our original document. And then paste, control V. So what I wanna do now is remove this white background. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. Firstly, you can hold down Alt or Option and move your mouse between the two layers here. That will clip the top layer here to the area of the text below. But you can see we don't have that original look of the index color working. So you wanna just disable the effects if you've got them applied to your text. Another way can, we can do it is I'll just release this clipping mask by holding down Alt uh, or Option and click on uh, between the two layers again. And we want to make a selection of the text. So hold down Control or Command and click on the text to make a selection or hide the layer. Now we can apply that selection as a mask to this top layer. So just hit the mask icon here. And now uh, we've applied that selection as a mask for that layer. So definitely try out index color if you're looking for a way to reduce the amount of colors in your image or wanting to create new color looks that you can apply to your other images. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.